The nucleolus is an organelle found in the nucleus of eukaryotic cells. It forms around specific chromosomal regions in the nucleus and is made up of proteins and RNA. Its primary function is to transcribe and modify ribosomal RNA and integrate ribosomal proteins to form immature ribosomes. It is also part of eukaryotic cell stress response, acting as a stress sensor and is able to regulate our RNA synthesis based on the cellular environment. The nucleolus occupies up to about 25% of the volume of the cell nucleus. Malfunction of nucleoli can be the cause of several human diseases. History Before 1964, the nucleolus was recognized as a morphological element within the nucleus, but little was known of its function. During that year, a study of nucleoli by John Gurdon and Donald Brown in the African clawed frogs and opus livis, generated increasing interest in the function and detailed structure of the nucleolus. They found that 25% of the frog eggs had no nucleolus and that such eggs were not capable of life. Half of the eggs had one nucleolus and 25% had two. They concluded that the nucleolus had a function necessary for life. In 1966 Max Alpensteel and Hugh Wallace showed via hybridization experiments that genes within nucleoli code for ribosomal RNA. Structure Three major components of the nucleolus are recognized, the fibrillar center, the dense fibrillar component, and granular component. The DFC consists of newly transcribed or RNA bound to ribosomal proteins, while the GC contains RNA bound to ribosomal proteins that are being assembled into immature ribosomes. However, it has been proposed that this particular organization is only observed in higher eukaryotes and that it evolved from a bipartite organization with the transition from anamniotes to amniotes. Reflecting the substantial increase in the DNA intergenic region, an original fibrillar component would have separated into the FC and the DFC. Another structure identified within many nuclei is a clear area in the center of the structure referred to as a nucleolar vacuole. Nucleoli of various plant species have been shown to have very high concentrations of iron in contrast to human and animal cell nucleoli. The nucleolus ultra structure can be visualized through an electron microscope, while the organization and dynamics can be studied through fluorescent protein tagging and fluorescent recovery after photo bleaching. Antibodies against the PAF49 protein can also be used as a marker for the nucleolus in immunofluorescence experiments. Function and ribosome assembly. Nucleoli are formed around specific genetic loci called nucleolar organizing regions, first described by Barbara McClintock. Because of this non-random organization, the nucleolus is defined as a genetically determined element. An NOR is composed of tandem repeats of a DNA, which can be found on several different chromosomes. The human genome, for example, contains more than 200 clustered copies of our DNA on five different chromosomes. In a typical eukaryote a DNA consists of a promoter, internal and external transcribed spaces, a RNA coding sequences and an intergenic spacer. In ribosome biogenesis, two of the three eukaryotic RNA polymerases are required, and these function in a coordinated manner. In an initial stage, the rRNA genes are transcribed as a single unit within the nucleolus by RNA polymerase I. In order for this transcription to occur, several poli-associated factors and DNA-specific transacting factors are required. In yeast, the most important are, UAF, TBP, and CF, which bind promoter elements and form the pre-initiation complex, which is in turn recognized by RNA pol. In humans, a similar PIC is assembled with SLI, the promoter selectivity factor, IFs and UBF. RNA polymerase I transcribes most of RNA transcripts but the 5S RNA subunit is transcribed by RNA polymerase III. Transcription of RNA yields a long precursor molecule which still contains the ITS and ETS. Further processing is needed to generate the 18S RNA. 5.8S and 28S RNA molecules. In eukaryotes, the RNA modifying enzymes are brought to their respective recognition sites by interaction with guide RNAs, which bind these specific sequences. 
These guide RNAs belong to the class of small nucleolar RNAs which are complexed with proteins and exist as small nucleolar ribonuclear proteins. Once the rRNA subunits are processed, they are ready to be assembled into larger ribosomal subunits. However, an additional rRNA molecule, the 5S rRNA, is also necessary. In yeast, the 5SR DNA sequence is localized in the intergenic spacer and is transcribed in the nucleolus by RNA pole. In higher eukaryotes and plants, the situation is more complex, for the 5S DNA sequence lies outside the NOR and is transcribed by RNA pole 3 in the nucleoplasm, after which it finds its way into the nucleolus to participate in the ribosome assembly. This assembly not only involves the rRNA, but ribosomal proteins as well. The genes encoding these are proteins are transcribed by POL2 in the nucleoplasm by a conventional pathway of protein synthesis. The mature proteins are then imported back into the nucleus and finally the nucleolus. Association and maturation of rRNA and R proteins result in the formation of the 40S and 60S subunits of the complete ribosome. These are exported through the nuclear pore complexes to the cytoplasm, where they remain free or become associated with the endoplasmic reticulum, forming rough endoplasmic reticulum. A continuous chain between the nucleoplasm and the inner parts of the nucleolus exists through a network of nucleolar channels. In this way, macromolecules with a molecular weight up to 2000 kDAR are easily distributed throughout the nucleolus. Sequestration of proteins in addition to its role in ribosomal biogenesis, the nucleolus is known to capture and immobilize proteins, a process known as nucleolar detention. Proteins that are detained in the nucleolus are unable to diffuse and to interact with their binding partners. Targets of this post-translational regulatory mechanism include VHL, PML, MDM2, POLD1, RELA, HAND1 and HTERT, among many others. It is now known that long non-coding RNAs originating from intergenic regions of the nucleolus are responsible for this phenomenon. References External links, Cooper, Jeffrey M. The Nucleolus. The Cell, A Molecular Approach. Sunderland M.A., Shineauer Associates. ISBN A0-87893-106-6 Nucleolus under electron microscope 2 at Uni Mindster, Nuclear Protein Database A Euro Search Under Compartment, Cell Nucleolus at the U.S. National Library of Medicine Medical Subject Headings, Histology Image, 20104 Low, Histology Learning System at Boston University.